blue two furs. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Yeah, well, I've come on here to eat a rather large helping of humble pie on account of the fact that apparently I've got a lot of feedback from people that are very uncomfortable and you could even say very discombobulated by me sending up or making a joke vis-a-vis -vis or pertaining or appertaining to your Mr John Wedgham, the Wedge Monster or the Wedge Meister. No, they're very uncomfortable because they stand him and they've got a little fangirl club. Well, say girls, I mean, most of them are older than me. But anyway, no, so I'm on here to eat humble pie because obviously, yeah, you can't make jokes about somebody as wonderful as your Mr. John Wedger with his John Wedger Foundation. I mean, it's okay if I come on here and take the piss out of Rachel and Barry and their foundation or say even the, the Clinton Foundation, but I ain't being funny. I wouldn't say too much about them. I'd probably end up joining the Blimmin' Red Cord Club, wouldn't I? Yeah, so shh, I'm not saying nothing about you. I think Shillery's foundation is absolutely wonderful. She could do a bit more lipstick though, couldn't she, that one? Anyway, so yes, yeah, you can't make, make jokes about uh, John Wedge's foundation, but I can about Rachel and Barry's foundation. Yes, I can, even though they're the same and they keep most of the money for themselves. And, well, they're just like the jam in the sandwich, really. There's there's one person who wants to donate to somebody, but you get these people that come in between, call themselves a foundation, say, oh, give it to us, donate it to us, and we'll donate it on your behalf, and then spend about 92% totally within the law on themselves, and, well, whatever they want to spend it on, expenses incurred, and any other things. I mean, they, they can even argue that a fortnight's holiday in Antigua is, is necessary for the stress of running their foundation and just write it off as a tax, as a tax uh, swerve, you know, that's what they do. But no, I totally understand. There's one rule for Rachel and Barry, and obviously there's another rule for your John Wedger. Yes, of course, I understand that. And the other thing, well, the thing is, at the end of the day, he says he always calls children prostitutes. Yes, and he always talks about child prostitution. And obviously I stand corrected because... All this time, there was me thinking that that's a bit bang out of order. And there was me thinking, what, with all my wisdom and experience and knowledge of the world, that uh, there wasn't any such thing as that, really. That's what I thought to myself. I thought, how cruel to put the word prostitute in the same line as children or child. I mean, prostitution is the oldest profession in the whole world, isn't it? Yes, oldest profession in the whole world is prostitution. Yes. Yeah. I mean, usually it's undertaken by adults. But uh, no, apparently when John Wedger uses the word prostitute, which he does liberally in every interview he's ever given, dating over the past 10 years, uh, well, you know, that's perfectly okay to call children prostitutes and to refer to the trade as child prostitution. Yeah, that's totally okay. No problem with that at all. I'm just waiting for child doctors to turn up and child train drivers and maybe a child... Child Uber eater bloke, you know, Uber delivery or something like that. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Or maybe some child nurses or some child teachers. Yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, because he's very clever, John. He knows everything about everything, doesn't he? Oh, yes, he bloody well does. I'll tell you what, he's been all over the gaff. He has. Yes, he has. He'll tell you on all of those interviews that he's done. Well, he's taught statement analysis. He has. Yes, he has. In Trinidad and Tobago. Well, that's what he said he was doing over there. Anyway, so there he was in your Trinidad and your Tobago teaching statement analysis. Yeah, funny though, because when he was confronted with Jeanette Archer, uh, he totally believed all her bullshit. So, oh well, perhaps it was just, um, perhaps it was just, I don't know, his off day that day, yes. Well, there you go. So anyway, I've had humble pie and I'm very sorry for keep for keep her having a go at dear old John Wedger and upsetting all his fangirls and fanboys that get on here, crawl all over my comments section, call me names, press a dislike, unsubscribe, all the rest of it. Basically, every time I mention John Wedger, well, it's a bit like, well, it's a bit like getting a cyber slap from Will Smith, really, isn't it? Because you can't tell a joke without people having a go at you. It's a bloody joke. There's a lot of truth in it, but it's a joke. It's banter. So anyway, I'm very sad that I'm, I've upset people and made them sad and I've had a big helping of um, 
humble pie and I won't be taking the piss out of John Wedger no more. Much.